this is part two of the video how we started doing all the wire management and all the necessary stuff you see in a small compartment trying to use the boss bars here it's not gonna stay um, naked like that it's gonna be like this and we're gonna cover up these guys just like that it's gonna be locked and put the other one back here at the bottom so I know a lot of people will be say it's kind of dangerous the way it looks like but that's not how we are gonna uh, live it and this is the uh, and this is where all USB type C and USB uh, 3.0 this side I have to do this and make sure we wire these guys right here all USB 3.0 and type C they're gonna tie all the negatives and um, all the positives then we can get it situated here probably gonna put a switch or we're gonna wire this and bring it to this switch right here who knows I'm, I haven't designate which one is doing which because we have lights right here if you haven't seen that go back to the first video and these are the switches right here so it's an on position and off this one I can have a light luminate right here if I connect the ground underneath right here and the positive to the battery and these are just this is the you see the load see there's a load right here this is where the positive goes this is the load let me see I can't see it that well I don't want to see the wrong thing You see that the bottom one is the positive, and this one here is the load. So that's where the lights goes, and um, so if we close, it's gonna be like this. Gonna be protected, or maybe I get a tagging wire. It's gonna hold in it right here, so you can play around but this is how it's gonna look like nice and neat so we have to connect the uh, the main terminals positive to positive to positive to positive all right a negative 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 so it depends what we want to do we want to take from these guys right here probably we're gonna remove these bus bars and we're gonna tie individual comes to the bosses comes to the bosses all the positive all the negative so we can have a proper contact and connection and uh, these batteries can able to draw power um, equally the way they are right now is the parallel mode but I don't like it this way this battery probably if we tie right here the BMS is gonna shut down like I mentioned on the first Thing because of excess power coming and transfer to here this metal is too flimsy it's gonna be really hot the top here so what we're gonna do I don't like um, I don't have a spacer in between the batteries but um, I would love to do that have that flexible um, thing here to give at least a, a air but if I would have done it then I don't have this space at all it would have been so tight to put four batteries here it's a 40 amp total each is like a 10 amp so it's a 40 amp just to work on this guy right here these are the um, USB type C and USB 3.0 and um, we have a switch right here, pull switch. So 
Don't know yet, maybe it's gonna be, because it's a 25 amp, I might probably put it for these guys here, these, these USB chargers, or put it all together for this total, and because of 4.8, like I mentioned, 4.8 amps, so times three, it's about 14 something, so you see add these ones again into that it's going to be over but even if we charge not all the the equipment that will be be charging they're going to be fast charging so uh, it depends it runs on the voltage what voltage is going to be running and the amps low someone's going to be running seven so this is what we already created guys and um it's a long it's a short, long journey to walk on a very small space here. But this is what we have to do. And that's what we're going to do. So this is, if it's a 25 amps, it's a smaller terminal, how to put the wires in there. So getting all these wires together, it might be a tough thing to do, unless I put all of them together and solder them. All the negatives and all the positives, we solder them bring the negative all the way down here and the positive gonna be loading on the other side <clears throat> see positives gonna be all the way to that to the battery right here to the bus bar all the loads are connected all the positives all the negatives coming down and we have a positive from the battery terminal coming in and the load so when we pull this switch then it powers the reason why I like this thing so you can't bump on it so it mostly people mistakenly pressing thing down so you always press that means it's off but it's hard for someone to do a mistake just to yank this thing pull it that's the cool thing about this machine that I like. Alright, so stay tuned for part 3. While we're going to do all the connection, the wiring, make sure we connect the solar. It's coming in here from the charge controller. And we're going to be having a main disconnect that takes the positive. Maybe it's going to be somewhere. Um, a small disconnect is going to be probably on the corner right here if we're able to fit it right here a little one or somewhere here we have more space here I think but we're going to bring the thing all the way the positive is here so we need the positive the switch to be on this side right here so we want to make sure everything is okay then we have to add maybe a battery monitor it's going to be i'm thinking about putting um uh how you call it um renogy renogy um thing here i don't like this one I don't know how come i just put this guy here i don't know i might probably take this guy out of here but just to add more charging ports you know that's nice and um, at the front we have all the lights see so that's what it is thanks for watching love you guys stay tuned bye for now from Minnesota command center thank you and stay tuned Okay guys, I finally incorporated the battery monitor I was talking about. This is the Renogy battery monitor. You can see Renogy right here. They have a lot of products. And uh, it has been standing, this company has been standing for a while. But what I did is just kind of tacky um, work here I did. Because when I cut the size to put a meter um 
I want to make sure this thing is uh, water seal or it would have been like an IP65, but it's not possible. I decided to use a hot glue. This is the first time I ever use a hot glue on my work. Never used it. I have the equipment, but it seems like a little bit tacky because the cut didn't go well accurately the way I want it. I can see some kind of little opening space here. I don't want to, um, you know, damage the integrity of the uh, equipment. So I decided to put a hot glue. It wasn't coming out well the way I wanted, but you know, it seals. But tell me, guys, what do you think I should do here and try to mask this thing really well? I was gonna say sand it and probably use um, a color, maybe a black or something, to trim this entire place so they can be you not know, being tacky like this. So let's open the box and see how it looks like. So this is the Renergy um, battery monitor. See, like I was saying. You can see right here. I don't know if you can pick it up really well. So I just make want to make sure I seal everything so water or mo moisture can build up into this um, battery monitor. See here, so it can really bite properly. And down here, I sealed it. So this is where the connection is going to go, the wires, and the shunt is going to be somewhere down here. We can set that one, and I have to remove these boss bars, thin boss bars, and I'm going to put these covers right here to cover the, be um, sorry, the, the boss bars so you can stay naked like that. So I just, this is what we're going to do and continue with the process and we finish up with this wiring and choose what side, which breaker, disconnect, toggle switch that we're going to be utilized for the lights, for the charging port. And there goes the thing for the solar input. Okay, and we're all done. All right, so this is just an update where I stopped and this is how it's gonna look like. But the glue, kind of like an amber or um, kind of yellowish. I don't like the look of it. I don't know, you guys give me any suggestions where, what I can do here and um, to cover up this thing. I don't know if I can try and put a black paint into this and trying to do if I can able to manually or hand free and um, now I can see all this tacky due to kind of amber or orange um, glue so we can complete call this job all done right stay tuned like and subscribe here at the command center in minnesota thanks for watching see you guys on part three of the video like and subscribe make sure you push the uh, thank you button there and um that will help the channel take care bye for now